is getting ready in the other room. So I'm going to talk to her about things that she loves and enjoys. And yeah, just hang and chat with me. I got some cool guests coming. Uh, we're just going to talk about life, talk about things we enjoy, things we have in common. Hopefully this can inspire people watching to um, do what they love. Um, a lot of us get held back by our fear and our um, just our, you know, just get in our heads. So um, I'm going to be talking to some successful people who I respect and who I love um, from all avenues, um, singers, rappers, uh, influencers, models, um, skateboarders, uh, basketball players. And uh, we're going to get people's, um, just kind of talk to them about what they enjoy and what, uh, what's getting them through quarantine. Um, turns out we all have a lot more in common with each other than we don't. Um, all of us are kind of um, trying to figure out what's going on. You know, there's no certainty uh, to our near future. As you guys know, I had to postpone some, some dates for my tour um which was kind of frustrating um but it is what it is they postponed the um what you might call it uh the um the um well they postponed my tour many other tours NHL NBA um the Olympics that's what I was trying to think about um they postponed the Olympics um and so so yeah, we're just sitting here. Haley's over here. Say hi, Haley. So we're just basically, I'm talking to him about how um, we're bringing on guests. So we're just going to be talking about random stuff, just kind of connecting with people during this quarantine time. Um, obviously, they say we should do uh, social distancing. So it's good to kind of be social during a social distancing. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit somewhere and, and just chat? Sure. I'm just making myself some coffee. You're making some coffee? So you're making some decaf or regular coffee? Regular. Regular coffee. I'm okay. Um, so uh, I know one thing that you're super passionate about that you've been kind of, uh, you know, just kind of working on and is just skincare. You love skin, right? Your skin is beautiful. I love uh, talking to you about things that you enjoy. Um, there's Oscar. What's going on, bud? Uh, so you enjoy skin. Yes. You enjoy beauty and beauty products. Um, what do you enjoy about, um, just skincare and, um, making yourself look beautiful? Obviously, you don't need it, but it accentuates your features. Um, you're absolutely gorgeous, and I'm lucky to have you as a, as a wife. Thank you. Um, I'm really grateful to have you, and... Um, but that's beside the point. The truth is, um, well, just t tell us about beauty. And well, you know that I'm oh, super into, oh my gosh, she just licked me right up the mouth. Let the dog go. Go, I get, you're to, distracting us. You go, are a distraction, get. but you're cute. Um, I really am into, you know, I don't go to bed at night without doing a million things. Right. I'll never go to bed without washing my face. Right. Um, I just am really passionate about, like, skin health. Mm -hmm. You know, health from inside out and, right. um, you know, what ingredients are healthy. So would you say skin? that skin is, healthy skin has a lot to do with what you ingest? Yeah, I think it's like and a hormones. lot of hormones, I think it's diet, I think it's what, what ingredients you're putting on your skin, um, environmental factors like pollution, mm -hmm. so... I'm just super into it, and mm -hmm. I'm really all about clean beauty. That's why I'm with Bare Minerals, because mm -hmm. they're, you know, a clean beauty brand. And what does clean beauty mean? Clean beauty means that they don't use any parabens, any preservatives, ingredients that are, sorry, <laughs> harmful for the skin. Mm -hmm. um, clean makeup, which is important, because makeup can really clog your pores. What did time. I say? Get going. <laughs> Get. Listen Thank to you. your dad. Um, yeah, so I like to use brands that are, are clean and healthy for the skin. So you've been helping me tremendously with my skin. You've been putting on masks. Mm -hmm. You've been putting on things to dry out my pimples. 
You've been then, but, but, we'll but still wait, keep it but wait, yes, I wasn't finished. Okay. You'll put on things to dry out my pimples, yet you'll put things on my T-zone to make sure that I'm not getting too dry. Mm -hmm. So what is your secret and how do you do that? Well, I just think that like even when you're trying to get rid of pimples or acne, it's not just about drying it out. It's about keeping your skin because once once it's gone, then it's almost like you've completely just taken all the moisture out of your skin, and that's a big part of having healthy skin. So it's trying to balance. treat, yeah, have a balance of treating the acne, the acne, and and any like breakouts and pimples, and having the balance of keeping it hydrated because hydration helps with acne too. Yeah, it's true. Helps with inflammation. Um, I was also gonna say, um, do you know the percentage of people that deal with bad skin? Um, I don't know the statistics, but I do know that a couple days ago I, I asked people on my Instagram what their biggest concerns were, and mm -hmm. dryness was a big one, um, acne was probably the biggest one, or like post-acne, so mm -hmm. like fading acne marks. Like marks that I have here. Yeah. I have mar marks that I'm trying to get rid of that are slowly going away, as you can see, but my skin is yeah. looking more like vibrant and like more colorful. color in my skin which is really nice yeah. less pimples um i'm a little dry in here but we're also in canada but you are really helping me and damn i look good <laughs> um i'm just kidding yeah you do but, you do but i good. do um humility justin humility. i also think for guys it's different because they have to shave their face and if you struggle with your skin, when the hair grows back in in your face and you get those ingrown clogged, hairs. ingrown hairs, ingrown it's hairs, yeah. almost more painful sometimes, I think, than acne. Yeah, it and can it, be. And it turns into, like, these little pimples, so yeah. I'm always telling you to try to keep it shaved so yeah. that doesn't happen, right? You look really pretty, and your hair looks cute. Thanks, I just... Your earrings, you got cool earrings. What kind of earrings are these? These are um, Anita Co. Okay. Shout out to Anita Co. Anita Co. And what is that? How did you find that brand? Um, I don't even remember. I've been wearing her stuff for a long time. I love all of her earrings. Love you, Anita. We got two minutes, and then we're going to be bringing in a special guest. Yes, you are doing that. Her name is um, Kaylani, and she is on my album. She has a song called Get Me mm -hmm. with me. And that's one of your favorites on the album, right? Mm -hmm. You love the sound of her voice. I love Kaylani. I love her music. I've a, loved it for a really long time. So she has a very good tone. Like her yeah, tone is rich. You it's so rich. Oh my god, so hard. She does R and B music. She's a very cute baby. She's a cute baby. Mm -hmm. She has an adorable baby. But she does R and B music and I love R and B music, always have. Do you think? Um do you like me when I sing R&B music, or you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See that, ladies and gentlemen? My biggest fan right here. <laughs> biggest fan. You could sing anything. I mean, I think you just have a good voice. In Thank general. you so much that. for that. That means so much. Right, Oski? Oscar, what are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? All right, let me see if I can get Keylon in this video chat. The video chat. Chat, right? In a way, I guess I just haven't heard someone say there she video goes. chat. Alright, baby. What's hey. going down? How are you? I'm good. You How about you? Beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Hello, muffin. There's, say hello. there's the babes. Babe, <laughs> look at hi. Hello. Say hi to the Hi. Wow, she is cute. Thank you. How old? She's a year officially as of like a couple weeks ago. So Look, at she's mean mugging me right now. I know. I want her to relax those brows. Mean mugging. You mean mugging? You mean mugging? <laughs> Absolutely is. All the time. So, so I was going to ask you, um, first and foremost, you're from like the Bay Area, right? Yeah, from Oakland. Nice. I, I looked up a couple things about you because I was super interested. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to dance. Be a dancer yeah. at Juilliard. I did. 
That's awesome. Yeah, it was it was cool. I think that uh, my path switching because I got a knee injury was ultimately probably God because yeah. I definitely like growing up seeing like how I've turned out to be, how my personality is. I don't yeah. think that I'm too Juilliard compatible. I think you are. <laughs> I think you're you Juilliard think? compatible. I well, think thank you. you. Maybe, maybe one day I'll, I'll go to school and I'll be a ballerina like I wanted to be. But for now. So, you did, so it was ballet that you loved. Yeah. No, I've always loved all kinds of dance, but I was I was super heavy into ballet uh, when I was younger. So. In my yeah. All right. So um, Haley, I don't know if you know this. Haley is an extraordinary ballet dancer. <laughs> she hasn't danced in years i always tell her to go take classes in la baby real quick what is um do you have a favorite ballerina that she would know do you know missy copeland of course of course so haley haley did a lot of ballet she's really really good um what else babe um so you're 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 really you're you're glad that you didn't end up like dancing you like what you do right obviously yeah I, I didn't actually start really singing until I couldn't dance because I was I've always been kind of like one I can only focus on one thing majorly at a time kind of for the most yeah. part yeah yeah um so yeah I don't think I would have focused heavily enough on music if I was still dancing because I would have been so you know in the dance world so yeah, yeah. Are you, would you say you're like a super creative person? Yeah, I am. I actually just uh, spent the last week flipping my garage from a storage space into a um, video editing studio, photo editing studio, and like a recording studio. So that's awesome. That's in my garage right now. Can I, can I see it? Is it done? I mean, it looks kind of shitty. That's okay. <laughs> um, if, you, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Well, it's just a far walk, also. But you know, maybe I'll, I'll take it. I'll take you on tour of you by the end of this conversation, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. There's no no need. But um, I'll just, I'll just some, some but um, like, I, I I did write some other things down that I want to get in. Um, it's on this paper here. Give you some really cool things. Doing? You're a big part. Okay, so, oh yeah, your tattoos. Yeah. When did you start getting tattoos? Um, I was 16 years old. I got my first tattoos at the park. At the park? At the park. My friend knew how to okay. do stick and poke tattoos. So she was like, hey, like, like, let me tell you. And I was like, sure, let's try it. And I just thought of random symbols and she put them on my knuckles. So. That's awesome. And you kind of fell in love with it, obviously. She has a lot to say, obviously. Yeah, she's adorable. She's absolutely so cute. I wish I could squeeze her. <laughs> she's got the best hair. Isn't it the best? Just so curly. Cool. And how does 